Moses did everything just as the Lord commanded him. Exodus forty sixteen. Let us work together. Do you think that I needed someone to build me a home on earth? Look up at the night sky. The expansive heavens are my tent. The stars shine exactly where I place them. The Lord and all its wonders exist because I spoke and made them so. When I gave Moses my instructions for building the tabernacle, it wasn't because I couldn't do it. No, I gave Moses the task because I wanted him to join me to help build my people into a great nation. Loved one, I have a task that only you can carry out. I offer you an opportunity to make a difference in this world that will have an everlasting significance. All that is needed is your willingness and your obedience to the work. I do everything else. Won't you join me? Exactly, family. You know, you don't have to have the law of attraction, because that's a false doctrine of the new age anyway. You don't have to have witches and psychics and, you know, zodiac signs and all these things to, to get things from the Lord or to build things with the Lord or, you know, manifesting that's doing things through your own will thinking of yourself as a god and i'll explain more on that in a different um video but just know that he has control over everything not you you can pray for things to happen if it's in his will it will happen but you don't attract what you think just because you think it those thoughts could be coming from somewhere else. That source could be somewhat something else and not of God. You know, Satan also gives gifts as well to his children. So be obedient today, family. Open my eyes, God, to the work that has that you have for me. Give me the ability to obey. It's all about obedience. When you're trying to manifest something in your own will, and your own likely, you're trying to become a god, and that's definitely not being obedient. So beware of the false doctrines that are being pushed on a lot of believers nowadays. I mean, a lot of it's being allowed in the church. You know, be aware of it. Take it to the Lord and pray on it. Ask for discernment, and hopefully the Lord is going to speak to you. But definitely know that um, if it's not in God's plans for you, just because you think it or you speak it or you're being positive about something and you're thinking it may manifest, if it's not in God's will or God's plan for your life, then it won't happen. His authority over all. And plus it's all about having faith in God too, family. Not having faith in the law of attraction, but in, in the faith in the Creator. The Creator didn't create the law of attraction. That is man-made. Remember, you know, as we've been warned, do not be deceived by man and the false doctrines of men. Because a lot of y'all out there are still asleep. Humble yourselves, you know. Take a little humility. It's okay to be wrong sometimes, and it's okay to be corrected. But just know... That blessings come from the heavens. They come from the Lord. They don't come from your own thoughts of being positive and manifesting things through your own thoughts. No, nope. sorry, it doesn't work like that. But anyway, I hope the Lord opens the eyes of many.